So, should you repair your credit before starting Velocity Banking? Simple answer, yes. Please, why not? Okay, if you're, you know, if you got low income, let's be real. Okay, if you got low cash flow, let's be real. If your back's against the wall, you're in the weeds and money is tight. You should totally be focusing on rebuilding, reestablishing, or just getting your credit right. Did you just have a bankruptcy? Did you just have a foreclosure, a uh, delinquent credit card? You got medical bills you haven't paid. You got student loan payments that you're behind on. Let's be real, all right? If we're gonna have a successful kingdom, we need to get rid of the garbage, okay? We need to remove all the garbage, all the financial garbage, all the financial thoughts that you have in your mind that are delaying you from your own personal success. We need to get your money right. All right. I know a lot of yous are trying to just go and get a line of credit, trying to borrow a bunch of money, put yourself in a better financial position. But if you don't have the knowledge or the wisdom or the capacity or the discipline, you are going to mess yourself up. You're going to think you know this, try to do it on your own, and you're going to mess yourself up. So let's be real. If you got low income, mom, dad, or a young person, your income is low, back's against the wall, you're in the weeds, listen, it is time to 10x your damn income. Okay, you're making two grand a month. How do we get to 20? You're making 1,500 a month, three grand a month, four grand a month, living in California. How do we go from 3k to 30k I don't care if you're 21 41 61 or 81 get your damn money right please you're making my life hard you are making my life hard but you know what this is my passion this is my work this is my assignment given to me by the Lord the Lord my Lord right and so I want to really be here for you. Listen, I was in the weeds. My back was against the wall. Okay. I decided to step out into my purpose and grab my destiny. Okay. Which is to become a king. Simple. To have a domain. Have my own kingdom. And serve people to my fullest potential. Okay. Especially serving my Lord. My Lord. Okay. Um, so let's be real. Yes, you got to get your credit right, period. So that was a question from a YouTube subscriber. You know, they were like, man, should I get, should I get my credit right before starting this thing? You know, different story when you're making like 15, 20 grand a month. I mean, we can move things around, all right? I mean, we can drastically, you know, start, you know, getting into the groove to get our credit right and get some, move some things around. We even can leverage our cash to get the things that we want to get. You know, those are for my people that are making good money. They got a good career. And, you know, within a couple of months, we can get our, you know, you know what together. But for everyone else, you know, majority of the people who are struggling financially, which is a big portion in this United States, credit is so important. Okay. Credit is really important. I really want you to you know, press down on this, start reading information, start watching YouTube channels about how to build credit and how to get things going. I have a simple formula, simple, 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 simple formula, okay? You get your four major numbers down, income, expense, debt, and cash flow. The amount of money you take home net per month, get that number down. The amount of money that you spend on living expenses, Household expenses, debt payments, anything that leaves your checking account is an expense. I need you to record that and get those numbers solid. And then you need to get a total debt amount that you have on your head. All right. And then when it's all said and done, we should have a cash flow. Right. You take the income, you minus the total expenses. That leaves us with a cash flow number. That number. Let's say it's $300 a month. All I need you to do for the next three to six months is save those $300 per month for three to six months. Okay, so three times three is a nine. 
and uh, 3 times 6 is uh, 18, right? 6, 12, 18, yes. So you can save anywhere between $900 and $1,800, okay? And let's say you got anywhere between $900 and $1,800. Once you've saved that money for three to six months, all I want you to do, especially if this is for my people who have bad credit, go ahead, take that money, and go establish a secured credit card with Capital One or Discover or the bank that you currently bank with. Maybe it's Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase, TD, whomever, whoever you have a relationship already with. If you want to be even smarter and get ahead of the game, while you're saving that money for three to six months, you should establish a relationship with a bank that offers a personal line of credit or a HELOC, right? And start moving all your paychecks over there along with that savings, along with your income, show bill pay, build a relationship with that particular bank that you wanna get the line of credit with, okay? Three to six months, give yourself that window. After those three to six months, you establish a secured credit card or you're gonna establish a secured line of credit. And then all you're gonna do, okay, is you're gonna take your expenses that can be paid with a credit card. All right. So if we went the if we went if we went and got a secured line of credit, all right, for like 5k or 10k, that this is not exactly for you because we're actually positioned to start doing velocity banking or start chunking. So that's a that's a good amount. But if you are someone that can only start off with, let's say like a thousand dollar credit card or 500, I'm talking really, really low, like not a whole lot of credit limit. This is just for you, for those people who are really low, like you're not able to get access to any type of credit limit, only like a thousand secured or 1500, right? That nine to 18, it's just for you. Listen, listen, I'm telling you, you get that secure credit card and you take all of your bills that you can pay with a credit card and all you're gonna do is run your bills through that credit card and pay yourself back in full every single month, okay? Matter of fact, to speed this up, to go even faster, all you do is every time you swipe the card to pay a particular bill that you have per month that you can run on the credit card, okay? You swipe it, take the cash that you would have used anyways to pay those bills and expenses and make a payment towards the credit card. You'll have multiple payments showing up on the credit card statement each and every month, right? And you're paying your bill on time in full each and every month. You're gonna do that for about six to nine months, okay? It's a secure card. And then once it's all said and done, it's gonna be almost, you know, approaching a year. When you've approached a year, I want you to be at that same bank that offers that line of credit and go apply for an unsecured line of credit. I don't care how much you get, a thousand, two, three, four, five, whatever it is. See, talk to them, see what your credit score is like in a year, you sit down with them, you show them, they're gonna know everything about you at that point. The amount of money you make, debt you have, the payments, the bill pay, checking account, you got the savings account, you got a secure car with them. Now you're just gonna get an unsecured line of credit with them unsecured line of credit, not a unsecured credit card. We want to get the personal unsecured line of credit or even attempt to get that HELOC if you're someone that has a hum, a hum, okay? Do that. Get it done. I'm telling you, you change your life. If you start focusing on your money, you got to know where every dollar goes, okay? You got to know where every dollar goes. I can't tell you how many people I talk to that can't tell me their four major numbers and they're over here begging for help. And I'm simply saying, you need to do your pregame work. Do your pregame work or hire me. You can't afford to hire me, do the pregame work. Watch my channel, watch my videos. Spend night after night after night watching a couple of videos, whether it's writing your bedroom, on the way to work, on the way home from work. Listen, I'm coming out to you consistently weekly dropping content for you day by day 
and when you are good and ready you got your numbers in line you got some decent cash flow let's work together you buy one of my programs you sign up with me and I create that kingdom plan that financial blueprint Did I say that right that financial blueprint to build that kingdom to become completely debt free slave to no one or no ting no ting nothing okay and we get this thing rocking and rolling my name is Denzel Rodriguez hope this video was super valuable to you subscribe and like this video and I will be talking to you soon God bless